My first time watching Troy. Let's go ahead and watch this. Oh. Good day for the crows. I told you yesterday, remove your army from my land. I like your land. You can't have the whole world, Agamemnon. It's too right. big. Let's settle this war in the old manner. Your best fighter against my best. Boagrius! Oh, 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 oh. Y'all got yourselves a giant. This is my man. <laughs> this is my man. <laughs> Achilles! <laughs> Why they not cheering for Achilles? Achilles is not with the army. What do you mean? Where is he? I sent a boy to look for him. Achilles! They say you can't be killed. The Thessalonian you're fighting. He's the biggest man I've ever seen. I wouldn't want to fight him. That's why no one will remember your name. <laughs> he didn't have to roast the kid. He could have gave him some hope. <laughs> oh, now they're true for Achilles. 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 Perhaps you should have a war tomorrow when you're better rested. Perhaps you should fight him. Achilles. Oh. Imagine a king who fights his own battles. Wouldn't that be a sight? I hate him the most. It sounds like we have a little bit of pride, a little bit of arrogance. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. This this dude is like seven foot eight. I don't know. How many javelins does he have? Whoa! He barely broke a sweat. Barely. Is there no one else? Oh, don't, oh well, let's not challenge. Let's not do that. I'll remember the name. He's not my king. Ooh. Achilles is such a bad boy. I'm sensing some rebellion approaching. Queen Helen and I salute you. Orlando! Priam is a good king, a good man. Let us drink to peace. To peace. Hey. Ah. <laughs> what does she know? Waits for me right there. Don't tell me y'all know each other. I've made many mistakes this week. Western wind. Come on, brother. Western wind. We won't sleep on land again for weeks. I have no trouble sleeping on the seas, brother. Oh, they're brothers. And who sang lullabies to you tonight? Lovely creature. I hope you didn't let the fisherman catch you. He was more concerned with the fish. You do understand why we're in Sparta. For peace. Paris. You're my brother, and I love you. If you do anything to endanger Troy, I will rip your pretty face from your pretty skull. <laughs> but his brother is very serious. You're about to ruin what the peace, the peace treaty, bro. Would you protect me against any enemy? What have you done now? <laughs> yeah. I must show you something. <gasps> no. We just made peace. How a voice crack. We just made peace! Where is she? I will gut you here if you don't tell me! She left. With the Trojans. The fishermen here saw her board their ship. I, it, it's ironic because in the, in the conversation between Paris and his brother, he said, did the fishermen see you? And it was actually the fishermen that caught him. Do you know what you've done? Do you know how many years our father worked for peace? Exactly. It's all a game to you, isn't it? You roam from town to town, and you think you know something about love. What about the love for your country? You'd let Troy burn for this woman? I won't let you start a war for her. May I speak? And say what? What if they'll kill you? Then I'll die fighting. That sounds heroic to you, doesn't it? To die fighting. Have you ever killed a man? No. Ever seen a man die in combat? No. There's nothing glorious about it. You know nothing about dying, and you know nothing about love. I won't ask you to fight my war. Paris, Paris, Paris. Oh, he go call on his brother. Oh, it's like two brothers, brothers and brothers at war. Ah. I want her back. Well, of course you do. <laughs> She's a beautiful woman. Well, of course you do. Two hands. What? I won't rest till I've burned Troy to the ground. Empires are forged by war. But have I ever complained, brother? Have I ever asked you for anything? Never. You're a man of honor. An insult to me is an insult to you. It's an insult to all Greeks. Oh. You it's interesting sometimes how you see how loyalty runs so deep. If they insult you, they insult me. They insult the whole nation, baby. Old King Priam thinks he's untouchable behind his high walls. I control. Hector commands the finest army in the east. There won't be a ten-year siege. 
They can survive a 10 year siege? He's as likely to fight us as the Trojans. <laughs> they need to control. Very true. But he threatens everything I've built. At least the king knows that. I build the future, Nestor. Me. Achilles is the past. A man who fights for no flag. We need the greatest warrior. I agree. I stand by the king. It's risky. Achilles don't even like the king. The plot is prime meat right now. Odysseus. Like from the Odyssey. You want me to help you fight the Trojans? You're. Are you? <laughs> uh, you're. Are you? Forgive us. Oh, we got ourselves a humble king. I miss my dog. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. He is good. Patroclus, my cousin. Now you have this one watching over you, eh? You hear a Dagamemnon's bidding. We'll not fight for him. I'm asking you to fight for Greece. Trojans never harm me. <laughs> He's got a point. They insulted one Greek. I won't be remembered as a tyrant's mercenary. <laughs> his cousin need to give up. Even if your cousin doesn't come, I hope you'll join us, Patroclus. So your tricks on me, but not my cousin. We sail for Troy in three days. Oh. This war will never be forgotten. He said, with or without you, we sailing. Nor will the heroes who fight in it. Oh, the seas are so gorgeous. Tonight I decide. If you stay in Larissa, you'll find a wonderful woman. You'll have sons and daughters. When you're gone, they will remember you. Their children after them. Your name will be lost. If you go to Troy, glory will be yours. The world will remember your name. You will never come home. For your glory walks hand in hand with your doom. Wow. Wow! Wait, I'm sorry. It's really hitting me. So the thing, the theme of this movie is to be remembered, to have an everlasting name. And if he stays here, he won't be remembered and he'll die. But if he goes into battle, he'll still die. But his name will be here for forever. But like she said, you're... Your glory will be your doom. Either way, you die, bro. What a choice. So many people will die because Paris took the king's wife. I wonder if the people know that they are on the brink of one of the biggest wars to ever take place. Oh, his daddy gonna be mad. He'd be like, boy, oh, he's smiling. Wait a minute. Paris. What is the brother's name? Because they haven't said it yet. Helen of Sparta. Exactly. Helen of Troy. Is the king really not gonna say anything? I've heard rumors of your beauty. Gossips were right. Like, I'm shocked. Does the king not know what's about to come? Oh. He's strong. But I'm surprised you let him bring her. But let him fight Menelaus for her. You'd be burning a son's body instead of welcoming a daughter. You know Menelaus. He'd spear their heads to his gate. Put her on a ship and send her home. Women have always loved Paris, and he has loved them back, but this is different. Something has changed in him. If we send her home to Menelaus, he will follow her. I don't want to see them suffer, so my brother can have his prize. By now, Menelaus has gone to Agamemnon, and Agamemnon has wanted to destroy us for years. But our walls still stand. Oh. oh, father, we can't win this war. When you were very young, you came down with scarlet fever. The healer says you would not last the night. That walk back to the palace was the longest of my life. For 30 years, I have worked for peace. 30 years. Paris is a fool sometimes. <laughs> Paris is a fool sometimes. <laughs> like, nothing will make this right. We'll live off the land. No more palaces for us. No. We'd be protecting my family. He'll track us through the end of the world. He doesn't know these lands. I do. He'll burn every house in Troy to find us. Then I'll make it easy for him to find me. I'll walk right up to him and tell him you're mine. Paris, theoretically, maybe to you, bro. This sounds great. This sounds logical. But it's not. <laughs> Basically, a little Romeo and Juliet. This forbidden love. Deadly love. It's about to go down. They got the entire community working together. You know, at least it's a team effort. Everybody seems in on it. Oh! I'm like the baby. I'm crying. All oh, cause of Helen! Black sail. It's Achilles. <laughs> What's the fool doing? He went out ahead of them. Achilles is really his own boss. And fight for me. Let the servants of Agamemnon fight for him. Wow! 
He said, I got me and my 50, and we're gonna go do what we do best. How long before the army's ready? Half of our men are still coming in from the countryside. Noon. Make it sooner. Noon. Every Trojan to be brought inside the city walls. Troy knew that the Spartans were gonna come at some point, but did they know how soon they were gonna come? Because the Trojans seem a little bit unprepared to fight right now. But I'm fighting the Trojans, cousin. Not today. But I'm ready. You taught me how to fight. Look at these men. They are the fiercest soldiers in all of Greece. You will guard the ship. But this is a war. I can't fight the Trojans, I'm concerned for you. Exactly. Listen to your cousin, Patrick, Patrick, Elias, Patrick, Elias. What was his name? <laughs> All my life, I've lived by a code. Love your woman and defend your country. Troy's mother to us all. And the men are like, yeah! Yeah! I mean, I guess you gotta do something to pep talk your men, because otherwise. Let no man forget how menacing we are. We are lions. Right. <laughs> Beyond that beach, immortality. Take it. It's yours. <laughs> I mean, out of all the speeches we just heard, I would say Achilles is probably the best. And if I'm gonna be real, I would rather face Armagon's army first instead of uh, Achilles' men. Fiery arrows! It burns! Like, before they can even make it off of land, you have no chance. I don't know. Achilles, you're just you're losing a lot of men. Yeah, he should have waited. Yikes. Yikes. You can't hold that position for long though. Oh, 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 oh! Wow. Wow. I think everybody take notes from Achilles. Oh, the formation, brothers! Wow. Wow! The men are chanting Achilles! Wow. <laughs> Why is he king? Like, for real, for real? Give him the battle, he'll take the war. Give him too many battles and the men will forget who's king. Exactly. Who is this dude? <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll, roll your boat. Check it down the street. What's going to be really embarrassing is if Achilles' man is able to clear out the Trojans. Stop it! Like I said, I don't know how you have time to fight, but yet have have time to have a whole speech. Fear me! It's absurd. Who is this dude? Oh, we got a running Sam. I haven't even take that into consider. Oh, Achilles is clearing them out. Wow! Wow! Trojans? I don't know. Take whatever treasure you can find. Look at the ships didn't even make it to land. It's only two boats. Two boats. And primarily Achilles. That did all this work. Armagon, Arma Arma what you gonna do? Who this? Who are they? Who are you? Are these still the Trojans? Wait. Achilles, are you going to single-handedly take these men? Oh, is he going to take out? No! 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 Don't you! Don't you! Don't you! Oh, I thought he took out Paris's brother. We still don't know his name. Ah! He said that arrow was an offense. He's not even threatened. Achilles, I would not even bother to approach yeah, y'all about to get ambushed real fast. And why would y'all let the king go in first? I'm not the king, but prince. See, I told ya. Like, uh, fellas, is it too late to talk? Can we just talk about it? No, nobody else has to die. You're very brave or very stupid to come after me alone. I agree with that one. Hector? Finally, we get his name. That was a nice reveal. It paid off. Only children and fools fight for honor. I fight for my country. Don't do it. Fight me. Uh-uh, that's not what you want. You don't want that heat. Why kill you now, Prince of Troy? With no one here to see you fall. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Achilles said, I am offended. I am offended to kill you in the shadows. I've been talking about this war for a thousand years. 
A thousand years, the dust from our bones will be gone. But our names will remain. Oh. Do I smell an alliance? <laughs> Go home, Prince. Tomorrow we'll have our war. You speak of war as if it's a game. But how many wives wait at Troy's gates for husbands they'll never see again? Perhaps your brother can comfort them. I hear he's good at charming other men's wives. Foul. It's too early in the day for killing princes. Achilles really around here calling the shots. What do you mean? He said, go home, man. Get some grub. Have some cheese, some grapes, buddy. A little bit of crackers. Get some rest. Get some rest. Like, Achilles just made the Armagon look like a big clown. They're gonna treat him as king. Wow. Wow. And he does it so effortlessly. There is a sense of pride and arrogance on Achilles, but I don't know if that will really be his downfall in this movie because it seems like he's rising up the ranks without trying. I'm honored to go to war with you. As am I. Yeah, Ajax crazy, boy. <laughs> sure, I've got something to show you. The men found it. No. That's his cousin. Uh, Hector and Paris's cousin. What's your name? Did you not hear me? I spent years talking down to men. It must be royalty. Perseus. Are you afraid, Perseus? Should I be? Agamemnon requests your presence. Oh, well. I don't know if I want these two to get together I want him and Troy. or not get together. This could be peace. Oh, don't need to fear me, girl. You're the only Trojan who can say that. See, you spared her, man. I'm all conflicted because I feel at any moment Achilles could turn just because he feels like it. Because if he turns and works with Troy, that'll be the biggest comeback and the worst thing for the Spartans. It's, it's so much good. There's too much potential for the where the movie can go. But that's kind of dope. His tent is a part of the ship. It's pretty cool. Leave us. War is young men dying and old men talking. Ignore the politics. The Trojan beach belonged to Priam in the morning. It belongs to Agamemnon in the afternoon. Can I have the beach? I didn't come here for sand. <laughs> I didn't come here for sediment. That victory is not yours. <sighs> Kings did not pay homage to Achilles. The soldiers won the battle. History remembers kings. I'll carve Agamemnon in the stone. Your name is written in sand. You want gold? Take it. It's my gift. I already have. Agamemnon, Ag Agamemnon, Ag 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 Oh, no, 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 no! He started Agamemnon. You started something now. <laughs> Killing's your only talent. That's your curse. I don't want anyone dying for me. Mighty Achilles. Silenced. Before my time is done, I will look down on your corpse and smile. Girl, the plot got thick. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Can we win this war? Our walls have never been breached. We can win! I admire the confidence. But, uh, no. <laughs> there won't be a war. Paris, sit. Down, sit down, sit down. Dispute between two men. No, a boy and a man. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, I will challenge Menelaus for the right to Helen. Baby. The winner will take her home. I suppose fighting for love makes more sense. My father carried this sword all the way back to the founding of Troy. Our people have a future. He has no idea what's happening. Don't go tomorrow. Paris fights tomorrow, not me. 50,000 Greeks didn't cross the sea to watch your brother fight. You've been fighting your whole life. You know I don't want to fight. I want to see my son grow tall. I want to see the girls chasing after him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of all the things, bro, I want to see the girls chasing after my son. I can't lose you. Wait. Helen, is that you? Hey, yo, Helen. Wait. Nah, we got beef. We got chicken beef. What other meat is there? What are you doing? Let me go. I saw them burn. That's my fault. I still hear them screaming. I'm giving myself back to men allows. Kill me, make me his slave, I don't care. This is about power, not love. You're a princess of Troy now. I am shocked, Hector. At first he was getting on his brother, but you see a change of heart. Come on, character development. Hector said, I'm 
you know, we may be in this predicament, but I'm going to fight for my country till the end, no matter what. The army's marching. Achilles don't care. We stay. But the men are ready. We stay till Agamemnon groans to have Achilles back. Yeah, Achilles, like I said, he's prideful and stubborn. I get where he's coming from because Ag Agamemnon, Agamemnon, he's just not the greatest king, you know? Are you ready to kill? To take life? At night, I see their faces. Who will you fight for when I'm gone? Like, I know the Trojans were talking their talk, saying that their walls have never fallen. But at this point, that's a little too comfortable for me. I would be nowhere near this wall. Sit with me. All my life I have prayed against this day. Forgive me, Father. I blame you for nothing. You know, I have to admit, through this entire thing, they have treated Paris and Helen quite kind for all the trouble that they have brought on. Wow. Oh, the king is out here. Okay. You don't have to do this. I see you're not hiding behind your high walls. You come here uninvited. Go back to your ships and go home. What son of a king would accept a man's hospitality, embrace him in friendship, and then steal his wife in the middle of the night? The sun was shining when your wife left you. <laughs> not yet, brother. I brought all the warriors of Greece to your shores. I have two wishes. If you grant them, no more of your people need die. You must give Helen back to my brother. Second, Troy must submit to my command. You want me to look upon your army and tremble? I see 50,000 men brought here to fight for one man's greed. Hector? Careful, boy. My mercy has limits. No son of Troy will ever submit to a foreign ruler. There is another way. Paris, have I had enough of your talking? I love Helen. I won't give her up and neither will you. So let us fight our own battle. The winner takes Helen home. A brave offer, but not enough. Let me kill this little peacock. I didn't come here for your pretty wife. I came for my honor. His every breath insults me. Let's give the signal to attack. You'll have your city. Oh boy. I'm telling y'all, it's the pride, bro. It's getting in the way of everybody. Make him swing and miss. He'll tire. You think of your sword and his sword and nothing else. Hector is such a good older brother. Please don't die. Oh! The sound is vigorous. <laughs> ah. <laughs> His laugh couldn't even come out. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 baby. <sighs> no. I did not come this far to see you fall. <laughs> no! Fight! Fight! Prepare for battle! No! I'll kill him at your feet, I don't care! <laughs> want to see anybody die look at this look at this Achilles what are you gonna do well, who are you gonna fight for the Trojans are dominating it seems like Achilles did have some type of authority over the Spartans because there's no order oh Ajax you got to get him no no Hector <laughs> Hector no <laughs> Okay, but Hector's... Yes! Hector! He oh, oh, but Ajax is just a super, super strength. Bro, this is weird strength. Awkward strength. How is he not dead? L let Hector go. Achilles, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah, they're, they're moving and acting as one... That's where their their strength. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm way too proud. Come on, Trojans. Oh, not them throwing arrows. We're in range of their archers. Yeah. Tell them they can collect that debt. That was like the fattest. 
turn of events. It was pivoting. You didn't know who was gonna win. Hopefully by the end of this movie, we can go ahead and crown Hector. Cause he been through it all. And he, he's the one who's really holding Troy down. I will burn that city to the ground. I promise you that. They think I'll sail home at first light. Maybe we should. Flee! If we came here for Menelaus's wife, we won't be needing her anymore. My brother's blood uh. still wets the sand, and you insult him. Lose all credibility. The Trojans can beat us so easily. We stay here for the right reasons. To protect Greece, not your pride. Achilles is one man. Hector is one man. Achilles fights only for himself. I don't care about the man's allegiance. I care about his ability to win battles. The man won't listen to me. He'll want the girl back. I gave her to the man. Come on. Because y'all are out here acting like animals. Eat. I've known men like you my whole life. Soldiers understand nothing but war. Trojan soldiers died trying to protect you. Perhaps they deserve more than your pity. Why did you choose this life? I chose nothing. Yeah, it chose him. This is what I am. You will never be lovelier than you are now. We will never be here again. <laughs> Do it. Oh, he awake? He said, I know you're here. Oh, it's her. We need you back. Greece needs you. You were born for this war. No, go, Achilles. Sometimes you have to serve in order to lead. <laughs> this cousin looks so sad. <laughs> These are our countrymen. I ate, laughed, mourned with these men while you hid in your tent. Betray all of Greece just to see Agamemnon fall. Betray Greece? Achilles of all people has not betrayed Greece. He has upheld Greece. In all my years to come, may my heart never turn as black as yours. Cousin. Sail in the morning. I feel that I was a bit disrespectful to Achilles. Hit them now. Hit them hard. No. They will run. No. There must be dissension among the Greeks. But if we attack their ships, we will unify them. Please listen to Hector. Yesterday, the Greeks underestimated us. We should not return the favor. Two of their kings have already gone down to the dust. King, don't listen to them. We're making a mistake. Hector has carried the city on his back. Prepare the army. Get this man to a chiropractor. The king is sitting back on his throne. You're not even on the battlefield. They don't want this. They're about to go home. They're scared. They're terrified. Let them go. Oh boy. I can't tell who threw the arrows. Oh, this is all Troy and their plan. Y'all gonna set them on fire. Y'all think it's smarter, not harder. This movie makes you question who to root for. I don't know if I should be rooting for the Spartans or the Trojans. It's ever so fluctuating. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Achilles and his men. Wait, but that's not Achilles. That's P Patroclus. <laughs> Y'all, that's not Achilles. Is it? I cannot tell. They're not showing him up close, so is that Achilles or no? Actually, if that was Achilles, Hector wouldn't even be here right now. He would be dead. Babes, I'm confused. I'm confused. Oh, even Hector feels that right now. <laughs> I think he kind of did that to put him out of his misery. Not for one day. Wow. <laughs> this movie is an everlasting roller coaster. We were going to sell home today. Once Achilles gets word of this, he's going to lose. His mind. Oh. Violated my command. No, my lord. You led them into combat. I didn't lead them, my lord. We thought you did. Where's Patroclus? Patroclus! We thought he was you, my lord. He wore your armor, your greaves, your helmet. Where is he? He's dead, my lord. The next time you come here, follow the tunnel. Why? You follow the river until you get to Mount Ida. Hector. Girl, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. Do you not understand? I don't know how long the city will stand. We haven't seen Paris in a minute. Is he still alive? He's alive, right? 
Like at this point, it feels like the narrative has has shifted. We're not even discussing Helen and Paris right now. They don't even matter. It's become about revenge, but for different people. For King Argum Argumon getting revenge on his brother and getting Troy. It's about Achilles getting revenge for Patrick. Oh, there he go. Legolas. This is Legolas. This is not Paris. <laughs> if I see Orlando with a bow and arrow, baby, that's Legolas. I wonder if he does archery in real life. <laughs> See, the thing is, y'all ain't have Achilles on the battlefield for real, for real. Girl, I don't, I don't know who to root for. At times, I was for, for the Trojans. At times, I was for the Spartans. Mainly because of Achilles. If it weren't for Achilles, I, I wouldn't care about the Spartans. But, I'm, I've never been this conflicted when it comes to which, which side to choose in a movie. No. No father ever had a better son. He's a real one, Papa King. You're a prince of Troy. I know you'll make me proud. <laughs> Let's go. I'll make a pact with you. There are no pacts between lions and men. Wait, whoa. Now you know who you're fighting. Wow. Powerful statement. I thought it was you I was fighting yesterday. But I gave the dead boy the honor he deserved. You gave him the honor of your sword. This is Hector, the fool who thought he killed Achilles. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was kind of funny. The lion and the man. He and the lion's dead now. But if Hector can hold his only own against Achilles, he's good. Close. Woo! They are, they are meant for each other. Oh! He did scratch his armor. Oh, that's not fair. His foot hit a rock. Ah! No. At least be respectful of him. To drag his dead body like that on the ground. You know he didn't kill Patroclus on purpose. You know, I'm disappointed. <laughs> you did not have to, he didn't have to do that. Papa King? I kiss the hands of the man who killed my son. Priam? I know my own country better than the Greeks, I think. I could have your head on a spit in the blink of an eye. Give him back to me. That's the very he bare minimum. The honor of he killed my cousin. On accident. You. How many cousins have you killed? Mm. I cannot change what happened. Give me this small mercy. If I let you walk out of here, it doesn't change anything. But even enemies can show respect. Facts. It looked like even Achilles about to break down right now. Meet me outside in a moment. I knew he had a heart somewhere in there. Stop it. I don't know who to root for. I don't know. And he's crying and we never saw Achilles break down or feel anything. Your son was the best I fought. True. In my country, the funeral games last for 12 days. No Greek will attack Troy for 12 days. Achilles, you love him, but you don't like him and you want to see him win. Consort him with the enemy king. Giving him 12 days of peace. 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 <laughs> peace. Peace. I will smash their walls to the ground. Put my son back home. Oh. Is this the horse? The story of the horse. You found a way to make the sheep invite the wolves to dinner. <laughs> I didn't put two and two together. I'm like, oh wait, this is the story. This is the story from history class. I don't know how I didn't see this coming. They thought they could come here and sack our city in a day. This is a gift. I think we should burn it. Burn exactly, it. Paris. It's a gift. I will not watch another son die. Papa King. The main reason I was rooting for Troy anyway was because of Hector. 
Oh wow, this is exactly how the movie started. Where are they? <laughs> they just moved their ships to the cut. You telling me nobody like looked around and was like, hmm, this is wow. And they doing it. <laughs> it did not deserve that. This has gotta be one of the sickest plans like ever. And it's good, it's quiet, it's silent, it's deadly. What I don't agree with is them just coming in and killing just the civilians. They have nothing to do with this. Oh my gosh. I hope Hector's wife is up in that tunnel and getting to that river. <gasps> Achilles! Oh my gosh! Wh what is his purpose? Oh, he really loved her. I'm so conflicted. If y'all don't hurry up, I don't know if y'all going to make it. I stay. No. Paris. Everybody died for no reason. If you do not make it with Helen. Please don't leave me. Papa King. <gasps> Please. The innocent. Please tell me that's Achilles. I'm a gum a gum a gum. My flaws. <gasps> Woo! Come on, try. I mean, Achilles. <laughs> Aren't y'all quite the couple? What a chain of events. Let's go. Wow. And to think Paris, who never killed anyone, has barely been in battle, was able to take down one of the Spartans' greatest warriors. That's insane. It's Legolas. Legolas did that. <laughs> wow. And the king is dead. Wow. That is so sad. At least they made it out. Some of them. Oh, he was the narrator from the beginning. In the time of Achilles. Yeah, so this is coming from Homer's Iliad. I am more familiar with Homer's Odyssey when Odysseus is struggling for his life to get back home. Because I did an assignment on Odysseus freshman year of high school. But that is besides the point. So the movie, I don't know how closely this follows uh, to Homer's Iliad, but as far as just the characters that were created, Hector was my man. I see why it was three hours long and it was worth it in order to completely flesh out this story. The Iliad is an epic and we had a lot of stories and plot points to follow and I think that they juggled it well. I don't feel that any moment of this movie was rushed or was too slow. Like It went from one extremity to the next. The story started off very simple. At points you thought, okay, Trojans are winning, this is great, this is cool, everybody's gonna survive, we're gonna be fine, and then it's like Achilles isn't fighting uh, for the Spartans, so they're losing, they're gonna go back home, everything's good, and it's like, no, and it's it just one back, it's, it never stopped. It was like one terrible thing after the next. You got the chance to see things carried out from the enemy's point of view because a lot of times in films or in stories in general, you just see it from one point of view. You just get to see it from the protagonist's point of view and you see things carried out on their side but you got to see things, conversations uh, from the Trojans onto the Spartans and what they were doing and thinking what their plans were which I love to see that and I think that's what made it complex to feel for one side more so than the other. Achilles is a great warrior but kind of lax in some areas but it makes up in other areas and then you have Hector who is the guy and you're rooting for him to win but you're rooting for Achilles to change and have a heart and by the end he finally does but it's too late and he's killed by Paris but you're happy for Paris's character growth and development from this young boy into a man and they, they were talking about he didn't understand love and death and by the end of it he understood love and death and so I think ooh, it, was it Paris's story was it Hector's story was, was it Achilles 
Lee's story. It was a lot going on and I feel that the story was ever evolving based off of the characters' decisions. It really felt like an epic and a journey that we were on. It was almost like choose your own adventure. Like you see the characters about to pick good or bad and then they choose bad and so we keep going down that road and that's what this movie felt like. It felt like one big great adventure. I really liked it. I'm not sure how much of it skews away from Homer's Iliad for what this movie was. I thought I knew where it was going and then I didn't know and I still didn't know by the very the, the end as you saw took me for a loop. I screamed when I saw that Paris was about to shoot. It's about to shoot Achilles. But I know the, the Achilles heel thing, yeah, myth, but um, I am all tragedied out. I really want to know, Paris, was it worth it? Because you and Helen have ruined everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Go ahead and tap that bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And if you'd like to see more content, click on one of these over here. Until next time, guys.